Significant wins, Penn over Cornell, Army rallied to beat North Carolina, Hopkins got a confident win over Michigan earlier today in Big Ten action. Who is taking home their first Big Ten win? It's Ohio State, and now for Knobloch with the, half, the uh, shot clock halfway gone. Amon challenge, good look inside, and a good shot and save. That first stop for Caleb Fayok. Dante Coolis got right in front of the career decade. Nick Meyer is in year 21 at Ohio State, all told. They both said the same thing. We'd love to score two or three more goals today than we did last week. Want a little bit more out of their offense, and there's something for the Buckeyes as Ben Mayer gets the Buckeyes on the board. Ben Mayer just swept. He got high side. Top side, rather, and he let it go. Good shot there. Again, you have to defend that top side. You don't want to defend it with his shooting hand, knowing that he can shoot coming lefty. He's a lefty. Just gets top side, gets his hands free, takes a good shot. You have to overplay that and send him back. Well, Mayer is one of Rutgers has a very successful extra man unit, second in the Big Ten, 45%. Another thing that they really didn't get cracking against Hopkins. Here comes a shot. It's good. And there's the first goal for RU. We're talking about star freshman Colin Cordilla has been a phenom in his first year. Well, let's pick your spot right there. He just planted, turned his shoulders, had a lot of torque put it high and shot it. Some looks like my drive, except my drive only goes about 40 yards. He took that shot. There's a lot of juice behind that. Watch this, turn those hips, let it go. When it goes out, nearest to the ball when it goes out, very difficult with the angles and such, for the officials to call at times. It's easy for us to call it from up here, because we definitely see it, right, Don? 90% <laughs> of the time, we might see it. Shane Knobloch on defense right now. Oh, oh, and he's going to get penalized. Just bumped Ari Allen to the turf. So free possession for Ohio State with 35 still on the timer. This is basically a free shot here. Ohio State can keep this ball. They'll take a shot if they don't get it. Mayer had it jarred loose. Oh, Rutgers out has come up with the ball. Ohio State maintains possession. Still can get a free shot off here. And and there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Ohio State EMO, EMO unit that is just 32% on the season, fifth in the Big Ten, and bottom half of Division I. Get those sticks up, cut down the passes. Good ball movement. Yeah, they share it fast. Ben Mayer had the slip. Two seconds on the penalty, penalty over. Can Rutgers get back in on six by six? Here's a shot. Oh, and a, and a goal. It was even strength, but in truth, Alex Marinier with a massive goal for the Buckeyes back on top. Yeah, Marinier's got a nasty right hand shot. Canadian style, he very rarely, if ever, puts in his left hand, but you give him a step down shot and he's got some velocity behind it. In your arms, they're gonna get you all day long. Cordillo was thinking about it. Scott tried to throw it in front, got deflected, and Ohio State takes it away. That first man down stop of the evening for the visitors to each side and you have four up top on the midfield line and play the offsides onside game. What you'll see, shot here and save. What you'll see here is um, Fayok will take the ball to one side and have a defender on the other side with two low. And then you have a combination of a lot of guys up at the... Ed Sheehan, Ed Sheehan hit the posts. Shot in there from Blake Island as well. They like him in the midfield. Matthews liked that matchup. I didn't. Step down, and that one stopped as well. Surprised he didn't stay with it long. It's going to get a good rebound there. And now Stoller oh, nice starts break. the break. Good one-hand catch to kick this off. And Andrew Macheca oh, parks it go. in the attack. Step down and save. Mason Edwards, a top rope unit guy for Rutgers. But Caleb Fiox sees the ball well so far. And to end here. Long pull. Donnie Cool's got it. Oh, he's going to get inside. Dive in front. Stoller came up with another one. Got to be in the crease. Yep, to lose in some ways. Trying to get to one and one in Big Ten action. Got an invert here. Cordilla rolled back, and now Scott sharing it around. Peters. Ayox made three stops so far. Yeah, 
Big plus for Ohio State today is Connor Camille. He kept the Ohio State player to his back and then the Ohio State player played him while he was out of bounds giving the ball to Rutgers. Here's Amo. Again, Amo wanted to shoot, but Coach Brick does not want those 12, 13 yard shots. Good like shot there, and Fayou makes the save again. Yeah, he's made four saves now. I make it five for Caleb Fayou. And the big outlet pass. Oh, here comes the shot. Rutgers not settled defensively, and it's a pole goal for Ohio State. Justin Shearer. Yeah, the grad student just beamed it in. Buckeyes by a deuce. Well, it all came off of the save by Fayok and the great outlet pass. He catches it, he puts it in play all in one motion. Rutgers defense got sucked in deep, not respecting the pole out now. As Blake Island controls. Blake Island will play offense, he'll play defense. Sharp angle, outside. yep. On the carpet, Stoller trying to trap it. Play on. And does. 15 seconds. Ohio State's going to get this ball back and have an opportunity to take the last shot with six seconds left. Greenblatt forces it forward. Uh -oh. Here's McKenna up ahead at the horn. No Great job. That was Andrew working against a short stick. Timer's at 15 now. Here's Scott inverting, trying to slip the short stick. Look inside, and here comes a shot. And, and Amon going. pockets it. You wanted Rutgers to shoot low, and Amon does just that. Go for his ankles. Go for his ankles. Take your eight-yard shots, go for his ankles. You'll have more success. He'll save those because he's a great goal. But you'll have more opportunity and better chance to score. Overhand shot low. If you watch Fayok, watch how his hands are. A little bit unorthodox. His hands are very close together. Yeah, that's for sure. Walk on a lot of ice up there in uh, Canada. <laughs> Quick <laughs> feet. <laughs> like, like penguins. Here comes a shot. Greenblatt and a nice turning save. in. Yeah, Cardin Stoller really picking the ball up well. And Rutgers wins the run out to the sideline. They were closest to the ball where it and when it went out. See, here's the clear. You see the goalie in the middle, two defenders on either side. Oh, nope, just dropped the, the ball. ball there. Yep. And now Jack McKenna. This is trouble. Numbers. He's one on one. Goal. No goal. He was in the crease. Oh, man. Gannon Matthews. He's right there and could not. Knobloch off the screen. Rutgers moving the ball with a little more pace now. Cool has had an opportunity on that last transfer of the ball to hang up the offense. Knobloch, yeah, he can shoot from every angle. Missed the target though. That's one of his better shots where he drops that stick and just like a worm burner. And one more look You'll at see it right there. The no goal for Matthews. His momentum right in the second circle there. Winner of this will go into the final month of the regular season, 500 in Big Ten play. Loser of this will be staring at three more conference games against ranked teams to close it out and having to search for their first win that way. Big hey, you difference. Look, you look at Ohio State, Dom. Um, they have five losses, but it's the number one Notre Dame, number two Virginia, recently the number four Penn State, number 10 Denver, and number 18 Cornell. Look inside there and a goal. Ball movement is perfect for Ohio State. Kurt Brunn came sprinting down the alley and was wide open in front. Yeah, you can see it right here. He just slashes on the inside. Nobody saw him, and they saw him, well, except the passer, <laughs> and they put it right in there. Good recognition. All right, Tom Greenblatt has it on his stick. You're going to challenge right here. Shared around for Gladstone. Still plenty of time on the shot clock with 33 seconds left. And Ohio State has been very deliberate offensively, not in a hurry to take shots. As they rise above GLE, and Jack McKenna makes it 5-2 Ohio State. Jack McKenna has a big body. He's able to protect that stick. You'll see it right here. He just gets upfield and shoots fading away. Takes a lot of strength to do that. And in doing so, you have to put the ball exactly where you want, which is away, hip side and away. Very, very difficult for a goalie to save that. Rutgers has to find a way to get some better shots. 
little starts with this person right here, this player right here, Ross Scott. Now block, spinning, stays on his feet. Peters oh scores! Logan Peters! That's a seven yarder. That's what they're looking for. Put it in. From his shoot tops, Logan Peters delivers Rutgers a much needed goal. He just picks it off the turf and lets it go. Again, at the ankles of Fayak, and it went high, to, I'm sorry, low to high. Started at his ankles, went over his shoulder. Had it's a big defensive stance for Rutgers. Following their goal, you need to take it back. And not let Ohio State score after you score. Allen, from behind the cage, oh. there's Stoller snaring another one. That was cool. The best example, that Peters goal from a moment ago. Shane Knobloch, two assists for the three-time All-American. Amon missed the catch. Ohio State so good on ground balls. And shuffled away by Hudgens, they got another one. Yeah, they come up with their 19th ground ball. That Long Island guy, Thomas Greenblatt, has it up top. In front of a short stick, Hund. Under 10. Still with Greenblatt. He hasn't passed it. Now down to the doorstep. It stopped. Karnan Stoller saved another. The kid is standing on his. Thing down from the, from the hash marks, you're going to get double teamed, and you get double teamed quick. I think that Rutgers has to go to a pick game. Two-man game, short, long game. Try to free up the hands of those guys and get them free. Now Cole Brahm scoops up the opening face off. And slide the knob block early again. And tried the trail check and came up empty. So right there, I'd like to see somebody pick for him. Making it too easy for them to slide, double team the ball. Peters trying to get his hands free with four seconds. Trying to find Amo and they throw it away. A turnover by the 30. Jim starts Ohio State's offense. Ohio State presses, and here comes a pick. This is a Buckeye offense that used all of the shot clock, it felt like, on every possession. But they were productive, and they draw first blood in the second half. Here's Jack McKenna with his second. So Jack McKenna just did exactly what I would like to see Shane Knobloch and Ross Scott did do. Came down, they set a pick for him, you'll see it. And he came right off the pick, got his hands free off of that on a short stick. Got some time and space off of that pick, came around, take a shot. Right there. You got two guys running after him, can't get back to his stick. State, and now quick off the draw. The Buckeye share for Marinye, and it leaks through Stoller. Marinye with a quick release. The Buckeyes have two to start the second half. Yeah, Ohio State, you know, they're just playing free and flow right now. They come up on the face off, they push the ball down. Stoller got his stick on it, but it just had backspin, found its way past the goal line extent. Amon. 1v1, well defended by Eli Fisher. Now Knobloch, stick to stick, and a save for Faya. Fifth save for Ohio Life just before the break. And now the Buckeyes have come out with back-to-back -back tallies. Defense has to buckle down here for Rutgers, keep him in the game, try not to give a, a layup shot here to the Buckeyes on a one-minute penalty. Space for Marinye, who's got a cannon. Alex Marinye has a hat trick. Well, you got to know if you give him time and space, he steps down, he's going to let it go. He's a rocket. Bang. Nothing he can do about that. Look at a placement on this shot. No chance by Stoller to make this save. At the U21 Worlds in Ireland. Against some of these Rutgers guys as Brahms wins it off the draw and scores it. Rutgers finds some life from its face-off guy. Just what the doctor ordered, ordered here at R, you bet you, babe. Needed a goal, needed a quick, needed a clean. Nice job. Right down. College Avenue. Bang. Nobody picked him up. Came late. Had a boy, but it was a clean. 
Good save by Fayok there. Now Caleb Fayok is remarkable. Number six recruit in the country oh, as the Buckeyes no. stretch it out and they answer. Alex Marinier is grand here in Piscataway. Yeah, well, Rutgers defense just created transition for the Buckeyes. There were slides that didn't necessarily have to be made. Right there. Sliding from the opposite side of the field. And, and he found him open for the shot. Island goes behind the cage. Greenblatt probes with 20 left to go for the Buckeyes. They move it quick once again. Caputo dump in front. They had it again. Here's the ground ball. We'll see who wins this battle. And Rutgers nope, gets away from Rutgers. Gonna have a loose ball. Pull. They're going to show him the double right away. Oh, we got a good look here. Coming out of the box. Back. Tereski. Hopping around for oh. Scott, who finds the five hole. That was a bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. <laughs> Ross Scott has his first goal of Big Ten play, Let's and it is a remarkable bada bing, one. Bada bang, bada boom. It's in. Down and low and dirty. <laughs> Poise in front of take went opposite side, just went wide. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Got to see if we can get a shot off here. That's Tereski from oh. behind on the skip. And oh. it stopped, but pops out a Fayok stick. Man, he had it. I'll give you a reset. You're going to get a hold here? No, you're not. Kremenacher riding around. Ohio State's defense is a little unsettled. And Rutgers looks like it's uh. got a pep in its step. Shane Knobloch sure does. Now, when you isolate Knobloch and you put him out of position on a transfer of the ball where there's not enough time for the defense to slide. You see the slide coming, but it came late. You give Knobloch that opportunity, he's going to take it every single time. Now, this is how Rutgers needs to continue. Rutgers is going to like. Got a lot of size on him. Yeah, bully dodge, and it hits off the pipe. And Stoller threads it through the legs to win oh, it. Oh, man. To be too Headed the other way in front. And Ohio State cashes in. So Stoller goes behind the cage, trying to play it, but Ohio State wins another scramble. Wow. Unfortunate situation for Rutgers there. Looked like they were going to come up with the ball. You'll see right here, beats him, hits the pipe, goes back. Stoller tries to push the ball to one of his players on an outlet, and it goes right to Ohio State. See it right there. Yeah, tried to get too fancy finding Hund. And Jack McKenna, you saw him camped. And Sheehan has the backup with 13 seconds. 13 on the shot clock. They're going to go to short stick again. Coming around hard. He's going to take the shot. Allen. Nice job here on the slide. He's going to get inside. I beat the one guy. In the crease. Yep. Wouldn't have mattered. One second left. Pick your poison. Either way, possession, Rutgers. Mentioned it early. Rutgers likes its defense. It's high on what they've done on this side. They forced three shot clock violations. Just looking for the scoring to back it up. Oh, nice transfer. They the switch the ball, and Shane Knobloch's got his second goal. He yeah. does have his swagger back. Yeah, you got to catch him before they can get in a set defense. Not able to double, not able to get the matchup on Knobloch. They, they cleared the ball well, brought it over. Knobloch touches the ball and lets it go right away. Nice job by Edwards getting the ball down. Ball gets transferred over there. You'll see it. They were trying to get back. Usually frowned upon. <laughs> and Ohio State's got the ball with two seconds, with uh, two minutes, pardon me, to go. This is a Ohio State team that once again is battle tested. You can say the same for Rutgers, but especially for this Ohio State team. Last year, tops in the country in strength to schedule. A top 10 again this year. Defense right there. Splane is one of the better defenders on this Rutgers team, and you saw what he could do right there. Comes a shot. Greenblatt spins and hits the corner. Man, Thomas Greenblatt guns it top 90. Buckeyes by four once again. Well, 
Kay had matched up on him, tried to keep him from topside. He did a nice job. But just turned back. Green Bolt just turned back. Took a good shot. Nice change of direction. Good change of direction, Hank. And they're nearly 50 year history. And just a yet another outstanding guy in the Big Ten coming out of Canada. That's, I mean, that's a great look by, by Coach Meyer to be able to do that and to say, I'm going to convert you to a different position. You don't see that often in college. You see it in high school and other. Uh, Rutgers with the possession to kick off the fourth quarter. I wonder what that. I wonder what his bench press abilities are. <laughs> <He's just laughs> Better than ours. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's just so strong on that shot. Cordilla rolls back, and Fayok trapped it. Caleb Fayok has 10 saves today. Big Tasty has been playing well, especially Big forward. It almost deadens the ball at times. There's another matchup. They're trying to go against Mason Edwards at times on that matchup, that short stick matchup. Good switch off by Rutgers there. And Ohio State flips it for Mayer, who has a stick in his face, and it makes no difference. Mayer had a similar shot earlier in this game where he just gets a full head of steam straight up the field. You see it right here, just runs by, gets his stick free, and then swings it around and shoots. Gets the stick ahead of his body. Again, that's just a strength move. Good shot there. Game all the way through. On the other hand, Coach Brecht is saying, hey, we've got to go all out in this fourth quarter. So you're going to have two tails of the tape here. Got to take shots. Good shot there, right over the pipe. Up from Colin Cordilla. He doesn't play like a freshman. Uh, Rutgers has needed his contributions all season long, too. We need a few more players that will be able to, just like he does, go to the cage and get shots. There it is. Quick look in, and Scott picks out Cordilla. Just as we were talking about him. Cordilla steps it up. I'm not a freshman. I came here. I want to win. Watch this. Give me the ball. I'll shoot it. Bang. Goal. Again, where was that shot from, Dom? If sped things up in the third quarter, I imagine they slow it down like they did in the first half now. Well, I would think so. I think you need to use up large amounts of that 60 seconds at each offensive possession. You, you can see what exactly what Ohio State has done in the second half. They're coming in off the bench, and they're, they're taking their short sticks behind. And not, oh, look at this. Marinier got his hands free 12 yards away. He's lethal. You almost say to yourself, how do they leave that guy alone? If anybody, if you're going to look at anybody, you're gonna leave, you don't leave him alone. Don't slide off of him. Let the person who's got the ball make the make the shot. Don't leave him alone because if you give him that time and space, there wasn't even a Penn yeah. State game. And trying to learn from some of their struggles down the stretch. I told you they've been up and struggled to close it out. They've had chances to come back. Not been able to do it either. But definitely tested. McMeyer says that we want to play the toughest schedule every year. Throwing across the crease and giving away. Yeah, they're not, they're not looking at their five. Right. Look like two different teams. You know, you still have four or five weeks to play here. See, that's the over, over the top pass that I like. Amon off the stagger step and just right on the body of Fayok. Yeah, Fayok didn't even have to move his stick on that one. And a long outlet, too. Fayok. Well, Coach Myers knows Knobloch very well. He played for him. True. Sure. U21s, the World Games. Out of Ireland, quick shot, and Stoller read it. Well done there. McKenna got that out of his stick in a middle. I did. You know, they have no hope of probably getting back in this game, but, you know, you're practicing for the future with this 10-man ride. Suppose they're in a situation, he's got a goal here. Yep, Stoller got beat, and that is Ari Allen, who puts the cherry on top for Ohio State. And they can feel it now. No difference whether you lose, you know, 14-8, 15-8, or, you know, 13-9. Of a Big Ten win to show for it. They led wire to wire. Tied once, but that was it. And the Buckeyes are headed back to Columbus with a Big Ten victory. 14-8, the final score in Piscataway. And the star was the former defender turned outstanding midfielder, Alex Marinier. I'll tell you what, I want to